In this tutorial, I want to show you how to start a do file and uh, show you what a do file can do for you. Um, once you have a data set up and running, um, one of the things you might want to do is keep track of the commands that you run, some of the variable transformation commands that you create and so on. Um, and a do file is quite convenient for keeping track of all of that. Um, to create a do file, you just go up here to the menu and click on this icon right here and that starts a do file editor. And I always like to start it off by um, putting the note of what the do file is for and to s make a distinction between notes and commands. Um, for notes we can use asterisk. So just put an asterisk and then um, type a note to yourself. So uh, this is a do file for a YouTube tutorial on do files. And you can do it with an asterisk as well. Um, if you don't, then it may not recognize that you've ended your um, uh, note to yourself. So now you can go ahead and um, start to insert the various kinds of commands. Now you could just do this directly and run it later. But for right now, we'll just minimize this and go ahead and start running some commands. Um, you'll see that I've already opened up um, a particular data set. And now I'm going to generate some new variables. Uh, generate P Latino. Let's generate P Pav for um, percent impoverished. And then we can just do a correlation real quick. Um, P Latino P Pav. And if we want, we can do a graph scatter plot. So we've created some variables, we've run some commands, and so on. Um, we can even do a regression of percent impoverished on P Latino. So what we might want to do is actually keep a record of all of these commands so that if we were to come back to this same data set untransformed later on, we'll be able to create whatever variables we created before and actually run all of the, the tests we ran before. It's quite simple to do this. If you just highlight the first one here and hold down the control key, you can actually go ahead and just select all of the commands that you want to include in your do file. And if you don't want to include something, just uncheck it. Um, but once they're all highlighted, just copy them and then pull back up your do file and paste them in. And I always make sure that I the, the first command includes a command for what data set you actually want it to use. Um, and if you want, if you wanted to include notes to yourself, uh, the following command runs a correlation between Latino and Pupod, or something like that. You can make those kinds of notes to yourself. Um, when you're done, just go ahead and file save as, and make sure you save it to wherever you're saving all of your materials for a particular project. Um, and I'll call this new file YouTube and hit save. Um, and now I'll go ahead and close that. Now if I wanted to actually open up that data set, let me go ahead and actually reopen. Um, I'm not going to save this. I'm going to go back to the original data set. So now we're we don't have any of the variables we created or anything like that. We've opened up that um, same data set. And actually, I should open up um, nothing. So let's close down this data and bring it back up. Let's go ahead and open up the do file. Start a do file editor and go to open. And we'll just go ahead and open that one we created. And there it is. Now, if I actually want to run it all, I'll just go ahead and execute and do it. And there it went ahead and did all of the commands. You can see that it executed all of those commands and I have my new variables and I have the results of the commands that we ran. So that's how you do a do file and that's uh, what function it serves.